Exodus 25a Lo tishtachave lachem velo ta'avadem The context here continues the second commandment concerning images. You shall not bow down to them and you shall not serve them. We can take a closer look at Tishtechave. Now, in this case, uh, it's very difficult to know the stem. Uh, kind of, uh, excuse me, it, if it were a hit pa'el, so to speak, then the stem would begin with sheen, then chet, vav, and of course, when the heat is added to the beginning, there's an inversion of the sibilant and the tav. However, there's an equally good case for the fact that um, he, he, sheen, tav is the stem, uh, which would leave the root letters being chet, vav, he. And one can look in Hallett and some of the grammars to see this debate. There's no need to decide this because this word is a one-off. So we just treat this word as unto itself and we don't worry about the stem or the root. So we can see that it is an imperfect 2ms. You shall not bow down. We can take a look at ta'avodim. Now, the easy part is this comes from the root letters ayin, bet, dalit. The tricky part is the stem. Uh, we would expect, if this were a call, to have a holum, uh, but we don't have that. And so Gazanius wonders, in uh, GKC 60b, uh, he wonders, could this be a hofal, uh, that is, do not allow oneself to serve? But perhaps um, the sense of a Kal with a strange spelling may be better. In any case, it is an imperfect, whatever the stem is, 2ms, and it's negative, you shall not serve, and then there's a 3mp pronominal suffix, you shall not serve them, referring back to the images. And it's worth noting that these parallel lines here, um, that is, you shall not bow down to them, and you shall not serve them. This is likely to be considered a hendiatus, that is, two parts of the same kind of devotion that a person is forbidden in ancient Israel to give to false images.